for the first time here in Egypt and in the Middle East countries, the first digital art festival kicked off for 15 days. Actually, in this festival, there are a number of activities, whether workshop conferences or exhibitions, like the one in which we're present here right now, and various artists are taking place, whether from Egypt or from foreign countries. So let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, and right now we have a participant in the uh, digital art exhibition, his Max Kazimzara, who's going to talk to us about his idea in this exhibition. Max, hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Fine, thanks God. Max, tell me about your experience participating in the first digital art exhibition here in Egypt. Well, uh, like many first um, sort of uh, first inspired inspiring events uh, in, in new places. I think that um, the Digi Art Fest was really a wonderful experience to be involved in. Of course, you always want to be part of something that's starting, you know, from the grassroots and, right. and you look at it 10 years later and you say, I was there in the beginning. So that's sort of an exciting, exciting thing. Um, I know that there are some other things going on. I think that there's a maker fair that uh, they had um, inside or outside of Cairo, which is a, a DIY, do-it-yourself, interactive, like um, art and technology, tinkering, hack, hacking, art festival that they have here, or creative festival rather. But this I think is more devoted towards digital art, which I think is something that Cairo will benefit from and, and, and in terms of a creative initiative. So very excited to be here and be a part of this. <laughs> I want to know uh, the idea of your work. I saw that you are affected by what's happening here in Egypt and the events that are taking place in the country because you're talking about President Mohamed Morsi, right? And in, in the work here, I saw Morsi, President Morsi. Yeah, um, actually, it's, it's really interesting because um, uh, I think international um, separation internationally, like physiologically the or physically, the fact that we're physically separate um, on different land masses uh, creates different ideologies in terms of how, or in, and different um, perceptions of what's going on in the other location. And so in the United States, I think we, we receive information about what goes on in Egypt and in Cairo, but we really don't know. And so we have to use the media. You know, everybody reads the newspaper. They take it with a grain of salt, whether or not it's at the same time, it's the only source well, we have blogs, we have online, you know, media. We have a range of different newspapers, news sources. We have, you know, the British media, CNN. We have, like, Al Jazeera now. But really, you read everything, and still you're looking through this medium or this interface to try to identify what's really going on especially in Cairo. Social media. Like especially Twitter, the social media, Facebook. yeah. And, and so I actually had some friends that came to Cairo and they told you know, me their experiences. Some people said, oh no, it's so dangerous, you have to make sure you know, to stay and don't, don't go out alone and things like that. And then others were like, ah, no problem, you know, it's a wonderful, beautiful place, so much culture. And it, so it's really hard, a second account of what's going on in Cairo, to, uh, to, to, to imagine what's really here. So as an artist, and, and I work as an artist, um, in site specifically, so I develop work about the location that the artwork in, is in, exhibited in. So I like to go to a place, learn about the place, and then develop a project. Well, in this exhibition, there wasn't enough time to come early. So really, this is a representation of the frustration that I had with not knowing anything about Cairo, but knowing also about the ambiguities and the and the and the maybe the the misinformation that that you receive through the media. So, so I want to see. 
Let's see now, okay. yeah. How does it work first? Okay, so first of all, uh, this is a face recognition project. So I actually am very interested in, in face tracking, human tracking, um, what, what they call human detection, or here, maybe we should move over here okay. because it's, um, so this actually recognizes your, your face, uh -huh. this, this system, there's a camera up there that recognizes your face, and it, it makes you one identity of the online Mohamed Morsi um, Twitter identities. So um, if you look online on Twitter, there are maybe more than 50, 60 Twitter accounts for Mohamed Morsi, but they're different because they have to be different to be isolated accounts. So mm -hmm. you have one that's Mohamed Morsi with two R's. You have one that's actually hashtag Mohamed Morsi. You have one that's Mohamed Morsi 84. Uh -huh. You have one that is M Morsi. Different uh, accounts. Different accounts. And, and most of them, I would say 90% of them, aren't even Mohamed Morsi. Fake. S fake. <laughs> yeah. And some of them are actually pro using the, this as a platform to protest against Mohamed Morsi. And, and so, um, so the interesting thing about this is, is I'm not really making a statement on anything politically. I'm only making a statement on online identities and, and the confusion of, uh, of what's being said through these interfaces. Mm -hmm. So really it's a confusion of identity. And in a way, it's, it's sort of talking about the confusion and the chaos of protest itself. So when you're in the, in the, in the process of protesting, you, you know, a lot of uh, ideas form and discussions and then, you know, energy and, 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 and activity and, and, and passions are, are raised. And I mean, clearly people are, are discontent when they're protesting about something. <laughs>
Gallery is hosting here an event for a number of dances and a number of different traditions from around the world. Right now we're going to take a look at one of the shows that they're hosting, a capoeira show from Brazil. Let's go take a look at the show. My name is Islam. I'm a, a member of the IK Capoeira team. Uh, we have been doing this, uh, our coach Tiger did, did, started to do this since uh, 2001. Uh, and people joined the team one by one. And uh, now, today we had a, a show, a Capoeira show in Hal Badil Festival. Uh, actually, the, the organizers of Hal Badil Festival, they are our, our friends. Uh, they asked us to, to do a show here in order uh, to have, like, uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, we did it. We worked on it and did it. Nobody, nobody. 